Hey my dudes, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails and we are playing Barnyard Animal Pack which is a DLC from Planet Zoo. They have added many animals and it's Tamworth Pig st yeah, starting everything off. We have the Sussex Chicken which is coming in a variety of different colours. The South American Alpaca, the small spitty thing essentially. We have the Alpine Goat, pretty common. The Hill Radnor Sheep which are everywhere the american standard donkey we just call them donkeys and we have the highland cattle what we call the woolly cows they are lovely absolutely adore them so here we have also the update of 1.17 and you can see these people petting the sheep and you see them in the enclosure properly with the animals they never used to do this before so what you can actually do in this update is convert habitats to enclosures and this allows people to wander around. There are various new sceneries and scenery items added to the collection which means you can build stuff around the zoo. You can make, if you, essentially if you can think a bit about it you can actually make it. Hand washing stations, not had it before which is kind of useful because I mean goats really smell don't they? So hand washing stations, uh, added bonus. Got new education boards added. I love looking at the little vendor items. This is why I added this here. We're having a walkthrough of our little zoo. And these are so cute. They have also added the small guest gates and the bully bush. And look at the tiny little cute cupcakey ice cream things. They are so cute. So we are just going to wander around the zoo. And then lots of different things have been added to the update as well as the DLC. That was a water, a water wash station, that was a hand washing station and what you can see here is people actually interacting with the animals. They have gone off the paths, this is one of the new enclosures. And yeah, I, I really hope those sheep do not go in the water because I've, that's a bad mix. Sheep and water, bad bad bad. So this is one of the new Sus Sussex chickens. And we're going to head around and have a look. I had to change the time because it went really dark. I mean, the chickens are here, the Tamworth piggies are here as well. I mean, the people and the animals are walking into each other quite a lot. But they're so cute. The animations are absolutely adorable. Really realistic. I'm going to have a look around. And I am going to mention just a few things that the Barnyard DLC itself has added. We do have the seven new animals, which we already mentioned. The pigs are just utterly adorable. The sheep, the sheep are very realistic. It's like they're the type of sheep what we have around our area. We have a new scenario, which I believe this zoo is a part of. Uh, there are straw bales, which you can use as benches. You can hand wash again, part of the other update. There are cable reel tables, and it gives you a really good barnyard feel to the entire game. If you want it to be that way, obviously. Here we've got some goats. A little baby goat as well. Not really fond on goats, but it's so cute. It's so well done. And yeah, various items have been added again to the you know, through the DLC. And yeah, it's so cute. Really happy with it. We're going to have a good wander around. And go through the gates. And little goat statues. And this is like a big area where the people can really interact with the animals. They do pet them and coo over them let's say and the pigs are running around so utterly adorable sheep are just getting up it's gonna head around have another good look the amount of detail that the developers do with this game is i'm absolutely besotted with it i love planet zoo and if you see at the side this guy is feeding he's one of the keepers and all the animals come running over you can have like feeding troughs but you don't have to use them if you don't want to and the sheep come over and eat it It's so cute! I do like the um, the farm barnyard DLC, I really do like it. The chickens are eating away as well. Oh, Sussex roosters. Roosters? We have one Sussex rooster and multiple chickens. It's even the detail inside these little buildings. This is like the, uh, the keeper hut where the keepers come to get the food for the animals. And they didn't have to go into this much detail and they have. Like weighing stations for different types of food and stuff on the walls and diagrams and it's the detail. I know it's cartoony, but that's it's adorable. It's lovely. It's positive. It, it's a good game. 
Even the base game just by itself is a wonderful game planet zoo. We're going to head out of here and we're going to go next door to the vet, not the vet, the staff room and we're going to check in on there. Again, it's all kitted out. There are beanbag chairs, there's a TV, there's a console, there's a, a full kitchenette, there's donuts on the table, a laptop. And there are two members of staff just chilling out, relaxing. And then there's a smiley face on the vacuum cleaner. How cute is that? This is what I mean. There is so much thought gone into everything. And this little area here, it looks just like an English farm. It really does. The old vines crawling up the side of the, the cobblestone building. We're just going to head back towards civilization because it's a very quiet part of the zoo, this. And back to the, the woolly cows over here and the donkeys. It is so well, nicely done. So there you go. I, I've been Vicky from Tales Trails. If you enjoyed my video in some way, shape or form, you found it useful or informative or fun, feel free to like and subscribe. All the best and happy trails out there.